Here in America, we have a game show called Survivor. The mission of the game is to outlast all your competitors while living outdoors in a secluded area far away from any civilization. Contestants must also overcome challenges, obstacles, and being voted out by other players. The whole point of the game is to stay in the game. Players must simply survive, and the one who's left standing at the end of the game wins. Our life as Christians is similar in that our mission is to stay in the game and to stay the course as we follow Christ. We don't have to be the most physically strong, educated, or financially able to experience victory. What we need is to keep going, hold on to our faith, endure, and stand our ground. This Bible study is called Stand Firm because we are going to be taking a look at one of the final messages from the Apostle Paul to the church at Ephesus, encouraging them and us to stand firm in our faith no matter what we face. The Apostle Paul wrote the letter of Ephesians while he was imprisoned in Rome. The purpose of this letter was to give instruction on Christian living. Specifically, in the first five chapters of Ephesians, Paul addresses the privileges of the Christian faith and the responsibilities Christians have. After pointing out the benefits of faith in Christ, Paul concludes his letter with a strong warning to be aware of spiritual warfare. Many come to Christ and mistakenly believe that their newfound salvation means an easy and comfortable life. But this is not the case as Paul addresses in Ephesians 6. He warns of the devil's schemes against believers and that there will be struggles against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Paul did not want this generation of believers to naively go about their Christian walk not realizing the spiritual war they have stepped into. Paul in no way, however, wanted this to deter the Ephesians and to cause them to shrink back. If they do, then they would forfeit all the benefits of salvation that Paul spent the entire previous five chapters outlining for them. So he tells them to stand firm in the strength of the Lord. And guess what? That's exactly what we are called to do as well. If you haven't noticed, the world, evil, sin are not getting any better. The enemy is not letting up, so neither will we. In this eight session Bible study, we will take a deeper look at Ephesians 6, 10 through 20 to learn how to stand firm in spiritual battle and how to put on each piece of armor the Apostle Paul shares we have access to. Although our text for this study speaks of war, its writer, the Apostle Paul, is giving us good news. Yes, there is spiritual war. Yes, you have an enemy. Yes, you will have to fight. But in Christ, God has given you strength and power to be victorious. There is no need to fear or forfeit when you already have everything you need to win. Not only do you have all the benefits of a relationship with Christ, you also have the full armor of God. So Paul urges us to do two things in light of this fight strengthen ourselves in the Lord, and to put on the full armor of God. Both are necessary. If we are strong in the Lord, but have no armor, we are fervent and passionate, but we are still fatally open for attack. If we have one armor, but no strength, we lack the skill to know how to effectively use the armor and weapons God has given us to be victorious. In our first lesson, we will learn how to strengthen ourselves in the Lord and how to stand firm. Then we will learn how to put on each piece of armor given to us by God for battle. That includes the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, feet fitted with the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, and prayer against spiritual warfare. Now is not the time to shrink back in fear and timidity. 
with God on our side and every piece of armor at our disposal, it's time to suit up, fight with strength and authority, and stand firm. Are you with me? Let's go. Are you ready to take what you are learning in today's Beloved Women video to the next level? Our easy and fun study guides were created to help you follow along with our video Bible study series. Key insights, study questions, viewer guides, activities, journal prompts, and more are included to lead you to a deeper and more personal understanding of God's Word so you can practically apply what you are learning from our videos to your everyday life. Find all Beloved Women Bible study guides at thebelovedboutique.com.